Okay, Sheikh. Uh, Sister Marwa from the United Arab Emirates has the second question. Uh, it's actually about the hijab, the abaya she's talking about. She says, I'm going to revert, so I've just learned from Islam and now I'm practicing, I cover my face. Mm. But there's so many different opinions regarding covering the face or not, she's a bit confused. Um, she says, isn't the abaya mean cover yourself, including your face, Sheikh? No, the abaya is a word which uh, is uh, describing a certain dress mm-hmm. or a dress code in a certain area, such mm. as in the Gulf. Uh, and in many of the Arabic countries. Mm. But that does not necessarily mean this is the hijab which is uh, prescribed. We said before, there is no specific dress code that you have to wear this or that. Rather, there are general conditions and a general description of what a woman should wear to cover her aura. The word yudnina alayhinna min jalabi bihin is to cover their entire bodies with whatever fabric, with whatever color. As long as it fits the following conditions and requirements, it is loose, it is not tied, it does not reveal the details of the body, and it is uh, thick or heavy, it's not uh, see-through, as we see that some women are totally covered, what they're wearing see-through. And it does not have anything which is attractive, such as glitters, or anything which would bring the attention uh, uh, to the attention of Men who are not mahram or people who are passing by the presence of a woman which would make them to look at her. And that is the meaning of the word tafilat. So if that happens, this is, that fits the conditions and this is a proper hijab. As far as the issue of niqab, and since you're a new Muslim, you may uh, maybe haven't heard this discussion before uh, on our program, that the issue of niqab, I personally support the view that niqab is required and it is a must covering the face for a list of evidences I begin by saying that Muslim women whom do they copy? They copy the wives of the Prophet and the wives of the companions of Rasulullah Do we happen to have any reference that Nisa'un Nabi, the mothers of the believers and the wives of the companions used to wear niqab? We have so many references mm. that support that. Yeah. So many, many, many references. I don't know if time allows us, but we'll take just a couple of them. One, when an Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was in his mu'takaf in the masjid, and his wife, Sophia, came to visit him, and he went to escort her home. And on the way, he noticed that there were two companions of Al-Ansar, so he stopped them. They could not recognize who was with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because she was totally covered. He said, Ala rislikuma innaha Safiya. He wanted to inform them that she is my wife. She's not a foreigner. She's not a woman who's not lawful to me. They said, Subhanallah, Ya Rasulullah, would never have any doubt concerning you. He said, No, a shaitan, Satan flows in our bodies like the blood in our veins. So it is best to clarify that. Second, uh, Aisha Umm Mu'mineen radiyallahu ta'ala anha wa ardaha narrated that even during the state of ihram where a woman is supposed to uncover her face and remove the face veil and of course the hands, uh, she said that we used to do that until we happened to pass by men or a men or men would pass by us, then one of us would lower her isdal. So the original case is to lower the isdal and to cover uh, the face. In addition to a list of interpretation of the two verses, the one of Surah Al-Ahzab and verse number 31 of Surah An-Nur by Abdullah ibn Abbas and others. So for those who seek purity and security with regards to their religion and honor, it is best especially nowadays to adopt that if you can afford it.